I want to talk about body language for a second. There actually was a book uh, put out uh, yeah, decades ago called Body Language. And uh, it's really interesting because body language is a, f a form of communication, of nonverbal communication. And when you uh, are able to recognize uh, the body language in others, what it means, uh, what it says about their internal thinking processes, how they really feel, uh, it's very powerful. It can, it can give you a leg up, you know. So in general, we do this. We look on, at people's facial expressions, and if, obviously if they're smiling, uh, that body language says uh, they're most likely that they're happy with us. If they're frowning, they're, they're most likely not happy with us. But oftentimes you can see uh, other forms of body language. Someone's legs are shaking, they're, they're anxious or nervous, you know. Um, uh, if they're slumped over, uh, oftentimes that's a sign of depression. Um, if they lean in when they're talking to you, uh, that's a sign of that, that, that they're interested and involved and, you know, and, uh, you know, and uh, want to hear what you have to say. Uh, uh, right. If they're looking aside and, 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 and not giving you eye contact and distracted and seem to be looking away, at, uh, you know, they're uncomfortable in some way. They're trying to send a message to you that maybe you should stop talking. Maybe that they're not interested in what you're saying. They don't want to come out and tell you to shut up, but they wish you would stop talking. And so they, they, they avert your eyes and they act like they're looking at, at a bird outside or whatever to, to try to send you the message to shut up. <laughs> so uh, in some cases, it can be very helpful if you are situationally aware of, of other people's reactions to you uh, and uh, and so you can respond appropriately in this book um, in this book body language there uh, there was one thing that always stuck out and that was uh, that, uh, that they described the scenario of that uh, it's not exactly body language but it was where where uh, the furniture in the, the way the furniture in, in an office was arranged and so in, in, a, in someone's business office uh, the business person would be uh, sitting at the desk in a big chair and then when somebody would come in uh, to talk to them they'd be in like a small desk desk like a lower desk so there would be a height differential. So it would look like the, the, the business person was looking down on the, uh, on the other person and, and so that they were in a superior position and the other person was in an inferior position. And they wanted to psychologically, they used the furniture and they purposely did that to, to psychologically you know, impact and make the other person feel inferior so that they would have an edge in negotiation or whatever. And uh, so I read that and then one day I, I, I went to a, a meeting and uh, and I recognized that, that the, the guy had, had set up the furniture that way. So I tried to move my chair in order to like rebalance out the imbalance uh, uh, of the power. Yeah, and, and he had bolted the chair down so you couldn't move the chair and equalize the, the, the power differential. Yeah, it was hilarious. Uh, it cracked me up. But, uh, but yeah, the, the people do this. And if you're unconscious of it, then you can be affected by it. It can make you feel less than. It can make you feel inferior. It can make you feel weak. It can uh, make you feel that you should be submissive and not aggressive or dominant uh, or proactive. So, uh, so, so look, if you start paying attention to, to how uh, rooms that you're in, how, how the, the furniture is, is, is arranged. Uh, look to look to see the stuff that people have, you know, in in the office. What what they have on their walls and on their desks. It, it tells you volumes about who they are. And look to their body language. See how if they appear contracted, uh, if they or expansive. Uh, you know, try to get a sense of if they appear comfortable or uncomfortable. You know, you know, are their are their hands are their arms folded? Are their legs uh, crossed in a certain way? They can that can tell you whether they're relaxed or uptight. It's interesting stuff.